Elite Boxing presents... Welcome to another edition of Muay Thai TV. Once again, my name is Nick, and today I'm taking you to meet somebody very special right here in Bangkok, Thailand. Now, he's also the owner of this gym right here, Getipon Tip Gym. His name is Rob Cox. Now, he's like a who's who of Muay Thai right here in Bangkok, Thailand. And I'm gonna have an opportunity to meet up with him, and he's gonna show us around um, his gym and see what's going on. And if you notice, around this area, it's all wooded area here, very secluded. So uh, let's see where he is. There's the man. This is Rob Cox. Thank you for having us here. No problem. All right. All right. Show me. Show how do how do I get to your gym? Right here. Okay. Uh, now, Rob, can you tell me? I mean, how did you pick this place well, basically in particular? Um, the land here is close to my wife's to my wife's family's land, so we knew it was a good location already. Uh -huh. You know, it's out of the way, secluded. Keep the boxes from you know there's not many distractions from them they're not going to go out drinking or, but that's you know, a good thing though right that's yeah. a good thing because when i when i came through there that's a long walk for me from all over the world it's a good exercise oh, yeah. you know you notice i'm, I'm already sweating everything right? <laughs> just from the walk but i mean i mean uh, what what time do they usually start their uh, start daily training about uh well obviously there's two sessions in the morning they'll start about 6 a.m they'll go uh -huh. for a 10 kilometer run okay then come back in the gym and do uh, conditioning exercises that kind of thing some sparring uh -huh. um, and then in the afternoon they go for a run about half past three in the afternoon and then four o'clock they're back in the gym and then the hard work starts pad work bag work okay kind of thing sparring all right let's see where we are you know what let me give, give me a, a little tour of your place so here a little bit basically the gym itself i mean it's, it's like most gyms really we've got okay. a boxing ring um we've got about 10 bags up um for the boxes to work on the punching and kicking that kind of thing okay as you can see there the, we've got the bags over here um some okay. weights equipment obviously the ring's the most important thing that's where the guys will get up and do sparring and clinching and pad work you know and we've got some punching tires over there as well just to work on the hands, the hands. and the shoulders pull up bars it's basically like any gym really you know okay you know, let's do this. Let's find a place to sit, and then uh, maybe I get more in depth with how you get started all this stuff. Right? All right. Uh, once again, Rob, I'd like to thank you for having me around. No problem. Showing you uh, yeah. boxing, what's, uh, you know, what's your gym all about and everything yeah. like that. No problem at all. Now, first of all, I'd like to ask you, though, um, how did you get, well, how long have you been in Thailand, first of all? I've, I first came here about 19 years ago, basically, because I was, um, I just started doing Muay Thai back in England. Mm -hmm. And um, everyone had said, oh, Thailand's a place to come, you know, see the real fights. And I was kind of like, I'd seen a few of the big names of the time fighting in England, kind of got hooked. and. Uh -huh. Came out to train and went to Lumpini, Ratchaman. It was like a golden era then, you know. Song Chai was putting on these massive shows in Lumpini, and I just fell in love with the sport and everything else. Um, but then I came back nine years ago with the idea of maybe starting a gym back in England, mm -hmm. and uh, just kind of fell into one thing, the other, fell into doing the fight reports, the photography, and uh, got married. And my wife's father in law was the founder of Gip on Tip Gym, okay, so okay. her brother was a formerly ranked. Uh, Ratchaman fighter, big name on oh, Sub One Song Chai. Okay, okay. So um, he wanted to open a gym, her, her younger brother, and um, so they, they, we opened this place. Okay. Now, first of all, I mean, when when uh, I heard that you also do like um, journalism, like photography, also. Yeah, I kind of that, that 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 when I first came nine years ago, the idea was to have a few fights here when I was still young enough. Obviously, that, that's long past now. <laughs> um, you don't look that old. Uh, I feel it. Trust me. <laughs> But um, and just kind of fell into the journalism. There was a there was a website, Axe Kickboxing, it was called. They were looking for news reports from around the world. I said to the owner, "Do you want stuff from Thailand?" And he, you know, he jumped on it like straight away. Yeah, I'd love to see that. So I started doing some fight reports, gym reports. Started taking pictures and got into the whole photography side of it. And uh, 
through that people got to know me, so I started working for different magazines around the world, Australia, England, France, uh -huh. some websites, and it just kind of moved on from there, really. Okay, because um, what, what I've heard is, you know, you're like the who's who of Muay Thai right here in Bangkok. Yeah, I've always been a little bit sad in that respect, yeah. like uh, an anorak, you know, like the train spotter with his notepad, yeah. you know. <laughs> I've always been fascinated by the, that. That's what it's all about to me, the fights and the fighters yeah, with Muay Thai. Yeah. You know, I've always been a big fan of the, the Thai fighters, you know, the Lumpini champions, that kind of thing. That's, 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 that's what um, draws me to the sport. You know, a lot of people in the West, they kind of get drawn into the whole exactly. yeah, yeah. mystical side, the white crew, everything yeah, else. Yeah. I don't even know half of that, you know, but you ask me who was Lumpini yeah. champion at Featherweight in, you know, yeah. then, you I, know. then I know, you know, that, that's what it's about to me, the fights, you know, and the fighters. The really, uh, the, the yeah. nitty gritty of the thing, right? Yeah. Now, in your gym, I see a lot of guys, you know, training right now, and you think, how many, how many uh, fighters do you have here? Training? We've got about 12 Thai fighters. We got, um, you know, from sort of maybe about 13 years old, right up to, we got one guy who trains here at the moment, he's resting at the moment, he's just fought, he's a Ratchaman champion at lightweight, 135 pounds. Oh, okay. Sam Samut, he's, uh, he's quite strong, you know, he's um, one of the top fighters at his weight right now. How many international fighters do you have? That all depends on time of year, but we've, we've got about 10 foreigners training here at the minute. <laughs> From, I'll get a lot from England, obviously, because I've got a lot of contacts there. Um, from all over, really. You know, I mean, a lot of people know me from the journalism side and things as well. And, you know, the gym's got a decent reputation. We try and look after people. You know, like like they're one of the Thai fighters when they come yeah, here. Yeah. They're not some gyms in Thailand. You know, you come in, you pay your money, but they, they they're focusing purely on the Thai fighters. Here, we try and get a balance between the both okay. so you, you can come here and you know you can be treated as a Thai fighter, live amongst you know the, a proper Thai gym, a, pro, a traditional Thai gym and also train the same way as them. Like uh, you remember uh, in, like the movie Rocky, the Eye of the Tiger, right? Yeah, yeah. You, know, you gotta get really nitty gritty yeah. into it, right? Now the, the thing is, the area that you chose, I, I think it's more of a, it's very, it's very nice because uh, it's, like you said, it was secluded. Yeah, it's secluded. You, uh, when it's do not they too run? far away. I mean, run? there's um, if you go out of the gym, just by the temple up the road, there's a canal on the other side, and they oh. run along the canal. It's like being out in the countryside. Okay. Because you know? when I was when I was coming through there, like I said uh, earlier, it's a nice, it's a nice little breezy yeah. walk. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a nice breezy walk. It looks yeah. like they get started a little bit on the uh, on the uh, punching bags there. A yeah. Bit, huh? Now later on, you're going to be taking me to you know to see what you do for. Uh, for a living, really, at the yeah. La Dadam Nguyen Stadium, right? Yep, yep. Tonight, one Song Chai promotions again. I mean, we keep coming back to the name Song Chai. Chai yep. I mean, obviously, uh, they're partners with Elite Boxing, but traditionally, Song Chai is the promoter in Thailand. Exactly. So, he's, his fight cards, you know, you're going to get the big crowd there straight away from the off, you know. Okay. So, we get an opportunity to see what you do today. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so it's, uh, we'll probably take off here around by 4 o'clock maybe? Yeah, 4 o'clock. I mean, it's, it's not too far a drive, but you never know. Bangkok traffic. Exactly. But by, by the time we get there, it will be dark. Yeah. So, well, you know what? Let's see what the... Let's go see some of these guys here. We'll see what they're doing. Right, come on in, Nick. Mm. We're gonna shoot, mate. I've got to get to work. Really? Come on. It's time? Yep, it's time to go. Okay, all right. Go. Uh, now, do you, uh, do you take the same route to work every time? Yeah, or? yeah, same, same way. I mean, obviously, I might have to change it a little bit, because... Okay. Uh, you, know, you know what Bangkok traffic's like. It's uh, oh, yeah, unpredictable yeah. at the best of times. Now, how long does it usually uh, take you for you to, uh, for you to work in? Um, it depends on the day of the week, to be honest. Mondays can be worse. Mondays and Fridays, all bets are off. It's, it can be a bit of a nightmare sometimes. But And uh, how often do you Good hours, you know, to go to that land of and stuff like that? Um, not every day? Not every day. I'd go mad if I went every day. I mean, I, you start to lose your enjoyment. I mean, I'm, I'm, 
you know, I was still a big fan of the fights and I love every minute of it, but if I went every day, you, yeah. you start to take the shine off the job a little bit. So about three or four times a week normally. Okay. And then other times I might be going to take fighters. We've got guys on, we have from the gym, we have people fight, both Lumpini and Ratchaman regularly, so oh, right. you know, sometimes I'm taking the camera to take pictures, other times I'm taking a boxer to fight, so. Oh, okay. And yeah, you, well, you, usually, I mean, I see when you, know, when you are, I've seen you before, you know, when you're out there yeah. doing your thing at the uh, Light of Noon, stuff like that. Now, when, um, when you, what time do you usually just, you know, when, after you get done, what time do you, do you usually leave? Or? Normally, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll go after the main event normally, unless there's maybe there's a, a foreign fight, a fight and that I need to do some, do a report on or something like that. But normally, I'm, I'm going after the main event. Oh, okay. uh, So, so you're, you're usually, what, about three, four hours? And yeah, about three or four hours at the fights normally. I'll get something to eat as well. You know, I get there early to get something to eat normally. Okay. Well, what was that? Well, let me see. Uh, let me see your route to work. Okay, let's go. Okay. All right, now we're getting ready to uh, get onto the big road now and uh, to head to Ladimdon Stadium and uh, sit back and relax and enjoy the journey. Because uh, Rob and I will. Right, Rob? Oh yes.